Welcome back, I'm Jeff. Today we're going to do a mountain scene looking through a window. I've already got it taped off where the frame of the window is going to be. i got some acrylic here, got my mountains sketched out, and we're going to see what happens. Don't forget, if you like this video and you want to see more, like and subscribe. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put in our sky right here. I want it pretty light. I want nothing crazy, just a light little sky. I'm going to be close to the mountains here. I like to have a light to the mountains. So we're going to make it light. Just a little bit of phthalo blue, a little bit of white that I have. One inch brush. A little darker as we go up. Probably about all we want. We need a clean two inch brush. Zip across this real quick. I went ahead and went ahead and put my mountains in um, just to get the collar down. I think I'm going to have mountains with kind of a brown tinge to them today. You know, as you can tell, this is the furthest away. That's the closest you can see by the color variation. I think I want the sun coming down this way today. Something different. So we will start right here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight them all. Then I'll come back with my darker collar for the back side of them. It's a little different putting the collar on the left side since I'm right handed. But different can be good. Sometimes, not always. Now I've got a little bit of a different darker brown on this side. So let's see what happens here. Everything's getting a little darker the closer it gets to you. I probably need a little right here. I think I'll cover all this area here. I believe I want to come down like that. Something like that. This way. Okay, need a little highlight or two back in here. Probably one there. One there. So most of this area here should be dark. A 
lot of it should be anyway. Take a look here, maybe across the top right here. Okay, let's see, let me take a look. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're trying out this brownish color. If we don't like it, I'll just scrape it off and do it again. About all you can do, isn't it? If you don't like something, go ahead and fix it. Don't keep looking at it wishing you'd fix it. Just go ahead and do it. It stinks to have to do it, but it's worth it in the end. Pretty much this whole face of this mountain is going to be in the sunny area. I make changes a lot of times. It's like this. I was thinking about putting pine trees in this particular mountain. I might. We'll see how this looks first. I might, I might not, I don't know. I guess you guys can hear my cat. She's rubbing my legs as I'm painting. She likes to visit me. Okay, I mixed me up some shadow collar. Lighter, lighter shadow collar, darker. I left it marbled, which is what I want. Let's see how this is gonna look over here. Just take your time when you're doing these. If you're not good at whipping them down, making the paint break, just do it like I'm doing. Just give it a kind of a jabbing motion. It's the same exact effect. Because it can be hard to do that sometimes. Like you see these other guys doing it. Okay, let's move on to a little darker. Let's see how this darker color is going to look. I hope you can see that. I may have to mix some of the lighter color in with it. I don't know. I'm just going to use the edge of my knife up in here. Come down in here. Let's get this over in here. Use the edge of my knife again. Okay, I'm going to go over a few spots here. Like these straight lines right here, like there's one right there. You don't really want straight lines because it doesn't look, it looks artificial. So we'll just come over here and just bump them out a little bit. Just make it look a little more natural. This one isn't too bad, but I'll go ahead and hit it a little. See how much better that looks right there? I don't know if you can tell or not, but it looks a lot better from where I'm at. Yeah, just bump it up, make it a little jagged. Make it look like a real mountain. Take a look. Okay. 
Maybe a little right here. All right. Now I'm going to go over and use some pure white. Here, wipe my knife off. Give me a chunk of pure white. Even though it has a little blue mixed in it, I didn't want that, but that's okay. And I'm just going to kind of skim on it. Just skim it a little bit. Just for some, where I think extra highlights should be. You may not be able to tell much through the camera back there, but it makes a difference. It makes a difference doing this. Just kind of skimming over it. Skim a little right down in here. Maybe there. Oh yeah, I think that looks pretty good there. I'm just letting the knife or the paint grab the other paint. I'm just barely touching it. It may get me a little more white. This mountain's pretty dark. I'm not sure. Maybe I ought to try a little hmm. Let me mix a little ochre in with that. Boy, I don't know what this is going to look like. Let me just touch it a little bit. I don't know. It don't look horrible. But it definitely needs more than two collars. Everything needs more than two collars. going let me stand back and take a look nope I'm not in your way well, I don't think that looks too bad I'm just letting the paint grab the other paint okay now let me wipe my knife off. Now let's try the pure white. Let's see. Ooh, so far I like that. So far, so good. Oh, I'll tell you what, I really like that. Way better than what I thought it would be. Hmm, I think we're going to leave that. Okay, I went ahead and put in a little tree line for the moment. I'm going to go ahead and start on my... This whole canvas is dry. The only place I had liquid white is from here up. The mountains were dry and this is dry so we have to scrub it in and that's okay because it makes it easier to put on your next collars this water's kind of blue with a little green tinge to it I might put a tree here I'm not sure yet we'll find out won't we I like the color of this water. It's got a nice little color to it. We'll have me a little little hill of sorts right here. Do 
get up next to these trees. Put some a little bit of land back in there. I got a picture I'm looking at down there. We want to get a little darker as we come down. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Maybe even a little darker than that. little darker than that just keep working on it till you get it the way you want it I'm pretty sure I might have something right here I'm just gonna leave that blank I guess water a little darker Darker, darker, darker. Of course, that's going to have some shadow right here, so we don't care how dark this is. A good color water. I like that color. Not quite turquoise, but getting close. Okay, I went ahead and finished up my water. Got me a piece of land right here. I believe I'm going to put a couple pine trees right here. They don't have to be real big. I'm going to start right there. Yeah, I don't think they need to be real big. I may go up a little higher than that to break to break this up a little bit right here. So I hit that white. Now I've got white all in there. I probably have to wipe that off and do that one again, which is okay. It happens. Let's put one probably smaller, probably in here. Probably bring it down in there somewhere. Oh, let's see, one, two. Maybe one right here. Smaller, smaller one, and I'm thinking about putting something a pretty, pretty fat one right here, but just with part of it showing. Okay, I've been continually working on this. I went ahead and put a tree there. I want to go ahead and start on some highlights on those trees, and then I think it'd be about time to take some of this tape off. Let's go ahead and highlight some of these trees right here. I want real bright yellow on the edge of these trees. On some of them, of course. Not. I don't want it all over the tree. Just where I think the sun might be coming down. You need quite a bit of paint on your brush to do this. Quite a bit. Wipe my brush off a little. Now this one over here is definitely going to have a lot of highlight on it. 
And we will start right here. It's definitely sitting directly in the sun. Wipe my brush off because I'm picking up a lot of a lot of the black and the green of the tree. Kind of twisted my brush trying to find a clean some clean yellow. Get some more. Just keep a working on it. Just keep going. Yeah, I can't wait to see what the what it looks like under here. And then I got to paint my window frame in. Make it look better. And then we'll be about done. I've not done one of these before where I put tape on here, so I'm kind of curious. Kind of curious to see what's going to happen. Let's put a little bit more right up in here, maybe. You might leave that alone. This one might need a touch more. Maybe a little more right in here. I don't know. Okay, let me set this down. Let's get ready to take that tape off. Let me see where I started. I don't want to start right here. Let's see what happens. Put it in my trash can. Let's see, here's a piece that could come off. I already had a little bit of paint on here. Let me see. This is acrylic paint that I had under here. I done that last night. I'll leave that hang there for now. Okay, so far it looks all right, I guess. See what this looks like running across here. Hmm. Well, that's that's different. I think it looks all right. Okay, let me get started on my window frame here. See how that's going to look. Okay. Just finishing up the window here. Yeah, I think it might be about it. All right, let's wrap it up. Hey, just remember if you like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.